They're with you, Alan Smith alongside me. And we're at the home of Chelsea today, Stamford Bridge. Well, Fulham playing against Chelsea, of course, having recovered here from relegation in uh, 2014. What a terrible season that was for the Cottages. Well, they've had a, a lot of instability, haven't they? A lot of changes of managers. They need a bit of continuity now, and that's going to help this team. Here's the Chelsea lineup. So we think it's going to be 3 5 2, Alan, don't we? Yes, it looks that way. I mean, this formation went out of fashion for a number of years, particularly in England, but a few managers prefer to bring it back now. And here it is for Fulham. This is their team for this match. Well, we think, Alan, it'll be a 4-5-1 formation, which can look a bit negative. Yeah, but you look at the players in that five, that midfield five, and I think a couple at least will be trying to support the lone front man. And find some space here on the flanks. And that goalkeeper can just saunter out and pick that up. Well, we expect goals today, and if we expect them from anyone in particular, it'll be Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. Great pace, even though he's uh, been around the scene for a long time now, but uh, still difficult to keep up with when he stretches those legs. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. Mitrovic. Oh, chance! He's blocked the shot well. Reflected behind. A clear corner. He's put in the corner. Well, it is a waste. They practice these corners, but that wasn't really what they had in mind. And here comes the corner. Put away, but not at. He's got his shot off now. A really close, great technique there. Oh, there's no finer sight than when you get that right. Unlucky. Conte. Well, can they do Koulibaly? Possession given away once more. Now James. to go at the opposition with pace. Sterling. Trying so hard to make the opening there. Nearly. Mitrovic. Makes a challenge here. Here's Sterling. So quick and often elusive, Sterling. Chelsea take the lead with the first goal of the game. They've been doing all of the pushing. Didn't he get it right? The leap, the plotting of the trajectory as the ball came in and the contact with the head. Well, when you can do that, when you can jump like he can, he's such a strong player, very hard to stop. Interception here. Guiding the pass through. William with good vision. That's an easy piece of goalkeeping. Chelsea with half time approaching. Do have the lead here. Yeah, not often you do see them let a lead slip. Got to pass the ball a bit better than this if they're going to make progress, giving it straight away. Here's Sterling. Fulham in possession again. That's a good spot by the defender. Shot on! It's the crossbar! Cleared it well. 
Well, Chelsea do hold the lead, but with half-time beckoning, we'll see whether they can get there with that lead still intact and indeed see it out for the rest of the game. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Now James. Sterling. Loftus cheek. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes. Going in for goal. Did the shot go? Well, that could be the insurance goal here. That little bit of daylight that they were after. Well, he got to the position of maximum opportunity. It was an impossible opportunity to squander. Yeah, we often say it was an easy chance, but you have got to be there. And uh, this lad has got the knack of doing that. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Reed. Well, that's half time. And 2 0 is the score at the halfway mark. Ready to go at Stamford Bridge for the second half. Here's Andreas Pereira. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. And shoots! Could not have placed that shot better. Right into the top corner. The keeper left standing and staring. Well, they can't wait to get the ball back out of the net and get the game going again because they're closing in. Well, much different atmosphere in this stadium now, and it's difficult to call. And we restart the game 2-1. Andreas Pereira. Here's Sterling. Going forward well. It's Pereira. Here's William. Comes in strongly. Robinson. Bit of space for him. Now out on the wing. Up for grabs here. strong he was what a good piece of defensive clearance that was James really in the clear now in on goal well, it's over hit isn't it and it's the goalkeeper's ball Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Very straightforward save for the goalkeeper. Mitrovic. James. Sterling. Well, suddenly they could be on the counter attack. Now, James Sterling Sterling. Andres Pereira. Right. Right. 
intercepted. It's a terrific effort by the home side here. They've just kept their noses in front, and they're going to need all the support they can get for that to continue to the final whistle. Yeah, they far too close across to the keeper. And on the clock, eight more minutes. Guided through. Real chance. Williams cross. Oh, an amazing ending with this equaliser, with so much rivalry at stake. Well, in a game of this nature, to score at this point, he'll go down in folklore here. Small fry they might be, but they've had a big moment here, and they're level. Yeah, they've got great spirit within this team, they would not lie down, and uh, who knows now. So it's 2-2 now. Goal for Fulham, number nine. Alexander Here's Sterling. Little piece of interplay between the two. Sterling. It's a weak cross, really. Not getting past the first defender. Well, it's a 90-minute match, and there's only two minutes to go. William threads it through. Mateo Kovacic. Players place another two minutes added on by the referee. One last attack to Chelsea, looking for a late winner. Keeper's ball, no question about that. It's a weak cross, really. Steered through. Striding forward, purposefully. Fafana. Well, that's it. We're level at the end of 90 minutes. The tide has turned in Chelsea's favour, and the fans sense that. And here comes the corner. And this is the first penalty here. Pressure on. Well, they've got a good penalty taker in this fella. So next up to take the penalty. Well, he did that little stutter in the run-up, but the goalkeeper still makes the save. It's time to step up. No nerves from him in this shootout. Right into the bottom corner. Well, just what you want at this stage. Up he comes for the penalty. Sure, from the spot in the shootout. He only had to parry it, but he's only gone and caught it. Brilliant. So the spotlight turns to this player. Score, and they win. It's as simple as that. If only it was. Good work from the keeper. Well, this is the toughest moment, really. He's got to score, otherwise they're beaten. That's a good penalty. His shootout's very testing. If he scores, the game is won. All on his shoulders. And a brilliant winning penalty. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. Well, in the end, yeah, that, that penalty that kick, kick and the award of it was a decisive moment in the match. It was, I was saying, and the referee pointed to the spot, he always looked as if that was going to be the decisive moment in the match.